Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Destiny from Desfix and welcome back to another video in the channel. In this one, we'll get started working with the comments component in React.js. That is what we'll be doing. Hopefully you will enjoy the video and learn something new. So let's get started. Now I want you to begin by opening up your code editor and come over to the comments JSX. All good. So the very first thing that we will do is go ahead and create, um, create new states. I'll call this one comments comments and also set comments okay and then this should be initialized with an empty array just like this and i also need another one don't worry we might we'll work on this one later so the very first thing we need to do is fetch comment right so i'm gonna say fetch comment and as usual an async function And then what we need to do over here is go ahead and make a get request to the endpoint. So I will say let, or you could use const instead. So const response should be equal to, should be equal to await API instance dot get. And what is the name of the endpoint? It's auto. And remember that we already have this um, here in the dashboard. So if you don't want to type all this out, you can pretty much just grab it from here, see this, that is pretty, that is it. So you can grab it from there and, you know, put it down here. Good. So this is exactly what I wanted. The only thing that we need now is to bring in the user ID. Firstly, import everything that we have over here into the comments, just like this. And also remember the user ID, which is this one. Also bring it into the comments. Good. So when you have all this, go ahead, use the use effects hook to call the fetch comment function. And please do not forget to add in the empty dependency array over there. So when this is done, that is pretty much it. Now I want you to, okay, we are setting comments over here. It should be comments with an S. So now I'm gonna go ahead and loop through the comments that we have. So this is an item, I will collapse this. How many comments do I even have there? Okay, just one. Good. So let's go ahead and look through this one. I will say comments.map and then over here I'll add in C and index. Okay, then take this, put it down here. So let's see. Now you can see you can see that we've got like four comments over here. So one thing that you could do is go ahead and add in the margin bottom of three of four or three to space out the comments, you see? And there you go. So with all this out of the way now, we could change up some things. Remember I told you guys that if you don't need an image over here, you could as well go ahead, get rid of this image. And there you go. Our comments will then look like this. But if you need a dummy image, a custom image, you could go ahead and grab one, just like we did in the previous tutorial and pretty much put it down here, okay? So now let's change up a couple of things, starting with the date. There's something I want to check out. Do I have moments? Do I have moments in the plugin? Because having moments in the plugin really comes in handy. So wait, hold on, let me see the plugin. Yeah, I have moments over here. So let me import that. It's moment, moment from moments. Perfect. So the very first thing here is the name of the person that made the comments. So instead of Eleanor Pena, what we could say is passing the C dot's name. So I wanted to see what I was actually called. That's it. And then instead of this over here, you go ahead, passing moment, then passing C dot date. So with this now, you don't need to do anything again. It's automatically format the dates for you. That is because I've created the simple function over here that you know, formats the dates for us in a way that can easily just pass in the dates here without passing in every other information for formatting the dates. So after you've done that, that is pretty much what I want. Remove this div, I don't think I need that div. And for the comments itself, that should be c.comment, c.comment. And for the reply, for the response, or the reply, that should be C the reply. Okay. So you open this up now, see good. And all this ones don't have replies. So you can see, you could say 
if there is no reply, then if you don't have any reply, then go ahead and say no reply. So see, the ones that don't have reply shows no reply. That is okay. That is very good. So that is pretty much it with the comments. The only thing that I want to do now is something very, very simple. You can see that right now when I click on any of this, it opens up all the response boxes, which is something that is not really responsive. So how do we make it in a way that it should open up just one of the um, boxes and it should know the one that we clicked on? So what you want to do is this. Wrap this ID in braces, change the quotes to backtick so that we can write JavaScript variables in here. So open this up just like this. And I want you to say c.id dot to string. So if you don't con convert it to string, it will just be a number that's appended over here. And most of the time, that will not work. Okay. So when you've done this now, all we need to do is go ahead and change up the collapse also, just like we did over here. So if you want, you can still take the same thing here. But before we even do this, let's convert all this to back tick. Convert this to back tick and also convert this to back tick. Good. And you also need to do the same thing for this one over here. Back tick, back tick. And if you be using back tick, make sure that it's in a braces, okay? So that you don't have an issue. Now I'm going to take this just this piece of code and append it to the back of each and every one of this. So what this will do is it will then go ahead and make this to be dynamic. So this collapse over here needs to have dynamic IDs to know which one it should open. So with this now, it will be dynamic, which means if I click on this, see, only that one opens up. If I click on this, only this one opens up. That is very, very cool. So now let's go ahead and work on the response, you know, pretty much replying a user or a, a commenter. I don't know, is that actually a word, commenter? But let's just work with that. <laughs> so I will duplicate this one and I want to change this to reply. And this one is going to be called set reply. And this use state here, I just want it to be an empty string. Okay. So let's go ahead and create a very simple and quick function that should submit this reply for us. We'll call this one handle handle submit reply and this should be an async function obviously and i just need the comment id so so that i can send it to the api since we are using an async function that means we could use a try catch right and if there is an error let's log the error and if we don't have any error let's go ahead and send make a response which is a post response to the api so this would be await API instance, API instance dot post method. So what is the API? It's called author slash dashboard slash reply comment slash. Okay. And please do not forget to pass in the comment ID. So comment underscore ID should be comment ID. And the reply text should be the reply coming from the state. Okay. So after you have done this, you can go ahead and console.log the response.data to see what it gives back to us. And I also want to fetch comments to get the updated comments. And you could go ahead and toast. Do I have toast imported? I don't think so. So let me go ahead and import toast. Toast from toast. There you go. What does toast actually need? Just an icon and a title. All good. So if we will be toasting, the icon should be success and the title should be reply sent. Very good. So with all this, that is pretty much it. And I also want to set reply to empty string. So guys, when you have done all this, that is pretty much what we want to do. So let's get down here where we have this form that helps us send the reply. What you want to do is in this text area, create a new on change and set this to set reply e dot target dot value. So we grab whatever value that 
have been typed into this text area. And then I want to call value here should be the reply coming from the states. So you might be asking Destiny, what are we doing over here? This is a way that you could use to set information to the states. So whatever the user types into this text area imputes, we grab it and set it to the reply state. Okay, as simple as that, guys. So in the button, just say on change, then because we need to pass in the comment ID, let's make this an inline function. Then pass the handle submit reply, then C dot ID. Very good. So with this now, let's get back here and see what's gonna happen when we say thanks for the comments. Thanks for the comments. And then we send response. All right, it's refreshing our page because this is in a form. So change this to a div, okay? So that it doesn't re re reload the page for you. So I'll say thanks and send response. Let's see. Do we have an issue? Let me check out the API. Mm. Response, this, this. It didn't make a call to the to the back end. It didn't make a call over here. So I think that's an issue. Let me try this again. And also I want to open up my console to see what's happening. Okay, okay, we are not actually making any call. Let me check out this button, change this button type to button. Okay, guys, this should be on click, my bad. I, I made it an on change. Yeah, I knew something was actually wrong. So right now where we send response, see, it shows thanks and response sent. And can you see the response data shows comments response sent. Good. So you can reply to this one also. Thanks for the blog post. You can say thanks, buddy. And then you can go ahead, send response. See, thanks, buddy. So that is, that is it. That's how you can actually work with sending response and replying to comments using React.js. So in this video, we pretty much listed comments and we also worked with replying comments. If there is something that you don't understand, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll be very happy to help you out. I hope to see you in the next video. And until then, mad love, peace out.